Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, create localization easily for, for your React Studio app. So what do we need? We have a React Studio app here. This is one of the one of the template projects we have already already in the project templates. And what we need is to create translation table for different languages. And by default, React Studio actually already creates it. It's, it's under the data tab here and it's called localization. And in localization, we have a key here and then we have the translation for the, for the English translation. That's the default translation. For other languages, we just need to create a new column and add translations. So let's do this. So I head to the start page. This is the main screen and uh, we probably want to create a picker where user, user can select the, the language and I'm going to drag it here and with Alt button uh, pressed I can drop it on the foreground group which means it's on top of everything. And uh, let's put it on the left side around there and align it. Align it from for the key line left. So now it's on the top left corner of on every device size. And uh, then we need a data sheet for the for the picker. So this will be the array or list that will be shown in the picker. So let's create that. I head to the data, add a sheet, and this will be called langua languages. And let's add a column, and this will be language, and then another column for language code. Language code. So this is the column that will be shown in the picker, and this language code will be the actually the value that we're going to fetch from it. So first will be English, sorry, like this. And the language code for English is EN. And then, because we're from Finland, I'm going to add a Finnish here. And FI. So now I have two languages in the uh, datasheet we're going to use for picker. Let's head to the main screen again. Let's select the picker. Select the datasheet languages. And then uh, select the label, which means this is the, the the column that will be shown, and this will be the value that will be selected. So we want the language code to be selected onto data slot, and head to the interact. And when users change the selection, so basically when you select something from the list, we're going to update the DS active lang. This is the default data slot added to the every every React Studio project. So this data slot holds the value that will be uh, used when when selecting which which uh, which column from the localization table will be used. So now we have a we have a picker which will update the data slot value. And what else do we need? No, well, basically, if we look at the one of these, let's head to the, for example, this component here, and I select the make appointment title. Here's the localization key. So this is actually used as a key for for fetching what will be shown in this this label. So if we change the value in a data slot, it will actually try to look, search for the for the translations in the translation table. So what we need is actually just add a column here, and this column will be fi for Finnish translations, and let's just change time for Finnish Finnish translation, just and then. few other translations
you could actually actually fetch this from the Google Sheet, for example, so you can make your translations in a Google Sheet, which is handy, or you can actually change it directly in the in the in the studio if you want to make translations in the design canvas, but I feel this is the, the most simple one. And by default uh, it will use English if there's no translation found from the from the from the column. And here we have a Finnish translation. And we can just run this in the browser. And I think it should work. Let's see. And here's the app running in the browser. And if I change it to Finnish, and it will change the Finnish. Finish translations here. And let's go back to English and we'll change it back to English. So what it does, it just changes the value in the data slot, the language code in the data slot, and then checks checks the translations from the localization data sheet. So that is pretty easy and uh, I think this is really really powerful feature for for making uh, localization easily and quickly and you can you can use you don't have to use drop drop down you can just uh, we could add let's let's do it so that I will add a add a button here this button could be this could be just a image with a with a flag of the of the flag or or just icon for the for the language you can you can bring your own custom on custom custom icons here but I will just use this default button as a as an example let's uh, align it from the left key in line I will create FI here and then just when user taps save data save data to data slot let's select the language and fixed. In this case, when user clicks this, I want to store fi, fi to the data slot. And I could just duplicate this one, and make the same for English, like this, and uh, what I need is change this to en, and then test it again in the browser. Now it changes to Finnish, and now it changes to English. So hope you enjoyed and uh, feel free to post your, your questions in our discussion forum. And uh, the link, link, is, link is in the description and uh, have a great day. Thank you.